Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for February 2nd, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Juggernaut. We who are alcoholics can consider ourselves fortunate indeed. Each of us has had his own near fatal encounter with the juggernaut of self-will and has suffered enough under its weight to be willing to look for something better. So it is by circumstance, rather than by any virtue, that we have been driven to AA, have admitted defeat, have acquired the rudiments of faith, and now want to make a decision to turn our will and our lives over to a higher power. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, pages 37 to 38. Thought to Consider If faith without works is dead, then willingness without action is fantasy. AA Acronyms WHO Willingness, Honesty, Open-Mindedness Just for today, Self-Concern from Selfish? Some AA speakers say AA is a selfish program. The word selfish ordinarily implies that one is acquisitive, demanding, and thoughtless of the welfare of others. Of course, the AA way of life does not at all imply such undesirable traits. If we cannot or will not achieve sobriety, then we have become truly lost, right in the here and now. Therefore, our own recovery and spiritual growth have to come first, a right and necessary kind of self-concern. As Bill sees it, page 81. Daily Reflections, Rescued by Surrendering. Characteristic of the so-called typical alcoholic is a narcissistic, egocentric core, dominated by feelings of omnipotence, intent on maintaining at all costs its inner integrity. Inwardly, the alcoholic brooks no control from man or God. He, the alcoholic, is and must be the master of his destiny. He will fight to the end to preserve that position. From AA Comes of Age, page 311. The great mystery is, why do some of us die alcoholic deaths, fighting to preserve the independence of our ego, while others seem to sober up effortlessly in AA? Help from a higher power, the gift of sobriety, came to me when an otherwise unexplained desire to stop drinking coincided with my willingness to accept the suggestions of the men and women of AA. I had to surrender. For only by reaching out to God and my fellows could I be rescued. As Bill sees it, all or nothing. Acceptance and faith are capable of producing 100% sobriety. In fact, they usually do, and they must, else we could have no life at all. But the moment we carry these attitudes into our emotional problems, we find that only relative results are possible. Nobody can, for example, become completely free from anger, fear, and pride. Hence, in this life, we shall attain nothing like perfect humility and love, so we shall have to settle, respecting most of our problems, for a very gradual progress, punctuated sometimes by very heavy setbacks. Our old-time attitude of all or nothing will have to be abandoned. From the Grapevine, March 1962 Big Book Quote The alcoholic may find it hard to reestablish friendly relations with his children. Their young minds were impressionable while he was drinking. Without saying so, they may cordially hate him for what he has done to them and to their mother. The children are sometimes dominated by a pathetic hardness and cynicism. They cannot seem to forgive and forget. This may hang on for months, long after their mother has accepted dad's new way of living and thinking. In time, they will see he is a new man, and in their own way, they will let him know it. From Alcoholics Anonymous, The Family Afterward, page 134. 24 hours a day, 
AA thought for the day. We got a kick out of the first few drinks before we got stupefied by alcohol. For a while, the world seemed to look brighter. But how about the letdown, the terrible depression that comes the morning after? In AA, we get a real kick, not a false feeling of exhilaration, but a real feeling of satisfaction with ourselves, self-respect, and a feeling of friendliness toward the world. We got a sort of pleasure from drinking. For a while, we thought we were happy, but it's only an illusion. The hangover the next day is the opposite of pleasure. In AA, am I getting real pleasure and serenity and peace? Meditation for the day. I will practice love because lack of love will block the way. I will try to see good in all people, those I like, and also those who fret me and go against the grain. They are all children of God. I will try to give love. Otherwise, how can I dwell in God's spirit whence nothing unloving can come? I will try to get along with all people because the more love I give away, the more I will have. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may do all I can to love others in spite of their many faults. I pray that as I love, so will I be loved. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.